hope you're all doing well. So I'm super excited because I am changing out my palettes, um, like my shot, my stash, or my palettes um, for, I guess, summer, I guess. By the time you're watching this, we are going to be in the swing of summer. And why not? I switched my shot, my stash out. I just did a bunch of new, I just got a bunch of new makeup for my, you know, birthday month haul in. So why not? So I'm going to show you the palettes that I'm going to have right up here in my little palette thing. Uh, I put them in this thing I got from Target. Put them in here. It'll be up there. And these are the palettes that I'm going to be doing my looks from until I decide to switch them out. Um, this system has really worked for me. Um, I love the shop my stash thing. It just really works for me instead of having to think about the palette I'm going to use every day. You know, and just have them at reach. Yeah. So let's talk about it. I have four palettes that have that have stayed from the last Shop My Stash situation. Um, and we'll talk about those first. I really did not play with this one as much as I wanted to. Um, this is the Earthy palette from Beauty Bay. The palette, I want the new palette, the new smoky palette is out of stock. And I and I want the, I'm sorry, sidebar. They have two new ones that I want, the rich and then the smoky and neither one of them have been in stock at the same time because I don't need to make two orders I just need to wait till they're both in stock so just to tell you that a little, a little annoying this is beautiful this is your greens and oranges this is definitely more you know in that fall I mean makeup has no rules you can do what you want but ah uh, beautiful tones earthy we're gonna get it we're getting into that okay we're getting into that and then um, this is a perfusion the chocolates palette I didn't get a chance to get into this as much as I'd like to. Um, I wish Perfusion was so regularly putting these out. And then just in the uh, theme, it's still Gemini season. I think it's over with on Thursday. Um, whatever. The Gemini 1 and 2. I have used these in the last session, but the Gemini 1 and 2 from Melt, because I'm a Gemini, Gemini stand up. Okay. Wait, there's some more themed palettes in here but we have the Gemini one love it just used this one recently um, and then the like this week like this past week or the week before and then Gemini 2 which is absolutely gorgeous as well I might wear this one tomorrow to work tomorrow is my birthday I might do the Gemini situation okay maybe all right so we have those four that have stayed from last time Everything else, we we moved. Y'all, I did some digging. I did some digging. Okay? Let's get into it. This first one is another Beauty Bay palette. It's not that old. Um, but this is my Berries palette. I really have been feeling pink looks. And so, this is as pink as you're going to get it with a little bit of purple thrown in there. But, love these mega palettes. I know people get overwhelmed with all these shades. And people think these mega palettes are being played out. I hope Beauty Bay doesn't stop making them. But... I love a good big palette, so I ain't going to wear. Y'all can keep making them. So we have the berries from Beauty Bay. Now, I think everything else, listen, I don't think any palette that I'm pulling out, uh, maybe one, maybe one, let me see, uh, two, it's going to be hard, uh, maybe three-ish <laughs> palettes they still make. Okay, everything else is, is, is discontinued. It doesn't really matter. I Let's start with this. The Anastasia Soft Glam. They still make this one. Um, a lot of these palettes are going to lean in the neutral category. I'm a corporate baddie right now. Um, I can wear pops of color and things. There's no, you know, I can wear whatever I want. But like, you know, and, you know, I, you know, I don't need to say much. So we have the Soft Glam. Y'all, I dug deep. I dug deep. Um, this is the Lorac Gold palette I love this palette y'all remember this palette loved it and the rose gold one but I just pulled this one out look at it look at the gold oh my gosh love that palette okay we pulled that out I, I, I'm going even deeper I'm going even further back yeah I pulled out the my original naked palette and it's gonna give me some soft looks OG Naked Palette. I still have my OG Naked Palette. I got this palette. I didn't get the Nakeds when they first came out. I got my Naked Palette in 2016. So these are... I got them around this time of year, 2016. So these are just, what, eight years old? That's not old for eyeshadow, okay? And it'll, it'll, I'll stay, it'll stay with me until it dies, which it's probably going to outlive me. 
All right, we have. Oh, this was the original Huda Beauty uh, textured eyeshadow palette. Was it rose gold? Look at this. The the packaging has changed on this and everything. She reformulated it, everything, and it has these flaky shades. And I loved this palette, and I can't wait to play in it a little bit more. Okay, yeah. Y'all remember this when it first came out? Her palettes don't even look like this no more. Oh, mm mm mm. All right, let's see what we have. Which way I want to go? Let's go to Juvia's Place really quickly. I picked up the Warrior 2. This, I picked it up for more of the mattes. I don't know why, because I just have a new a new Morphe matte palette. But whatever. Um, Rich, rich mattes in this one. All the mattes we need. Because I put away the, what I had in my last session, I put away the ColourPop, not a box of chocolates, as well as that other warm palette I can't think of right now. Those were really what I would gravitate for if I needed a good matte real quick. So I need to make sure I have a lot of mattes to fill in those spaces as I'm getting ready every day. Um, I thought these would be fun because just of the theme of my birthday, June, um, both of these. I am a 90s girl, 90s kid, and I picked up, well, I didn't pick it up, pulled out the 90s Remix Dance Palette. This is from BH Cosmetics. They came out with some themed palettes. I have the 80s palette, the 90s, and I do think I have the 2000s. I think we're 70, it's another decade, but this is the 90s themed one. The shades are very 90s. You got some soft pastels. It's not, I'll probably use these as just like a pop of something. Um, because it's not about the shades. It's just about the, it's about the palette. If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my look. I love the Spice Girls. I love that we're called the Spice Girl generation. Saw that on TikTok or Instagram, like the millennials, we're, we're the Spice Girl generation. Um, love the Spice Girls. I had my mom bought me the movie. Like, I remember I begged her to buy me the VHS of Spice World. She bought it for me. Love Spice, love the Spice Girls. But look at the names of these shades. Supermodel, Be My Lover, Jiggy, Wannabe, No Scrubs, uh, what is this, Genie, Hit Me Baby, Can't Touch, Heartbreaker, oh my god, all, I have all of these songs on one playlist, like I have them all together on a playlist, that's crazy, Say My Name, I'm Blue, Creep, so I creep, Too Sexy, Show Me Love, and La Vida Loca, you're talking about nostalgia. And then I got blessed. I got really lucky um, because BH Cosmetics collabed with, what's her name, Alyssa Marie? Don't know who that is, but 1991. That is the year I was born. Um, if, case you, if you ever wondered how old I was, you're watching, I, uh, I'll be 33 years old tomorrow. But um, 1991, best year. Legends were born. Okay, um, and so this is a <laughs> eyeshadow palette. Very pretty. Um, we can we can play with this. Uh, but yeah, I bought this on clearance somewhere. Don't remember, but of course, this and the decade the the decades palettes because the nineties. That that's why I bought it. I was born in ninety one. Why would I not own a palette called nineteen ninety one? Like, come on. So I threw that in the shop my stash because I mean it's perfect timing for that. So really excited. Okay, four more, and that's it. Four more. Two palettes from ColourPop. Two palettes from ColourPop. I went, just went through my ColourPop basket. These are their 12 pan ones. I went through the basket, just pulled out two. Um, this is Sonic Bloom. I opened this up and I was like, oh, this is gorgeous. It's really more springy, but it's gorgeous. So I'm definitely going to play with this. I thought this was a lovely, lovely um, set of shadows. Really pretty. Damn, beautiful. That shadow just fell out, didn't it? Didn't it? Well, let's... <laughs> I'm going to have to press that back in. Alright, I can't move. I got to I gotta press that back in. I'll have to do it right now, but it's just going to stay right there. Ghetto. I did another video earlier today with my Fenty, showing my Fenty highlighters and some of the best things in 2024. Open the palette. Open the highlighter and a chunk of that fell out. No, that doesn't normally happen to me. Uh, and then I have Menage a Moi. <laughs> I love that name. Menage a Moi. You guys remember these palettes? ColourPop dumps palettes out. Like, they hemorrhage them. So it's impossible to collect them all. But this is a beautiful, pinky, rosy-toned palette that I clearly barely touched. And so I'm going to um, play with that. I thought these were beautiful, too. 
I like this sparkly glitter. What's it called? Big Tees. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I like that. Very nice. All right, the last two. Woo, they were super favorites for a long time. We're going to jump back to Lorac real quick. Remember the Mega Pros? See, like, I love a big palette. I wish they stayed. I wish they, you know, lasted a little bit longer in store, Lorac. But anyway, the Lorac Mega. This is the Mega Pro 3. I think this was the best in terms of brown people friendly. Um, beautiful shades. Lorac shadows are soft, blendable. Still, like, I believe some of the best formulated shadows out there. So, we got the Mega Pro. Beautiful, beautiful. And then, last but not least, this palette. Loved this palette. And I still, you're talking just wonderful. This is the Kat Von D. Because this is back when it was still Kat Von D. Metal matte palette. Um, so, this is what it looks like. One side is metal, and then you flip it over, and it says matte. Um... So, yeah, whole cool thing. I forgot what that's called. Some type of gram. A word, you know, where you can do that. Some sort of art. Anyway, moving on. Um, metals, so metallics and mattes in the same palette. Pretty basic, like, in terms of the tones. Your blue, your green, your purple, your pink, your yellow. Nothing super unique in that way, but the, the palette itself is pretty neat. Um, and these mattes are rich. Kate Von D's formula has always been top-notch rich in pigment um so there's no issues there and I'm so oh, that's pretty and I'm really excited to play with this and then that's like the metallic blue the matte blue and the metallic blue so we, I pulled out the metal matte palette I really want to do something with that blue I think a good outer that's gonna be a good outer corner I'll, like smoke something out with that blue. Ooh, friends. Ooh, let's do it. Okay. Well, yeah, I need to press that shadow in. But those are my summer palettes. Um, I'm super excited, and I'm really excited to see what new palettes get released. I know we. I, I just feel like the makeup industry hasn't been super palette heavy just this season. Um, I don't think palettes are going anywhere. But um, I'm excited to see more. So I didn't overdo it with the palettes that I picked out um, because I do want to make room to actually rotate in new things. Um, and if you watch my Shot My Sash video, you'll see I didn't do, I didn't do like super overfill the, the, the Shot My Sash drawer as well. So I can definitely have room to play with the new things in between. But yeah, let me know how you feel about my palette picks. I love you guys and I'll talk to you all in the next one.